Today, I want to share a story with all of you. A story that happened to me in third grade. I used to love all the amazing stories about the dinosaurs, the mammals, and all those wonderful creatures right before the primates came along. I used to love all their stories, except when the ending came and it ended in a huge calamity came and destroyed them. So one day I asked my teacher, what about us? What will end humanity? And she replied, who knows? It may even be Mother Nature herself. And I found it confusing that the same Mother Nature that had nourished us could destroy us? That question kept eating me up until the seventh grade when I did some research and found something shocking. Humanity has been one of the most ingenious species of all time that we know of. We've went from living in caves to building skyscrapers, from animal hide to Armani suits. We have come a long way. But I think we've come a long way in the worst possible way. We are depleting the Earth's natural resources at an alarming rate. We are polluting the air, toxicating the waters. We are killing off animal species day by day. A census by the IUCN shows that around 138,300 species are on its red list and 38,500 are near extinction. That is bad and one of its causes is climate crisis. Now today I'm here to talk about this so-called climate crisis but first we must ask ourselves what is this so-called climate crisis? Now a Google definition you get is something like this. Yeah, but I think it's just a symptom of a disease that humans have created. Its name is pollution. Let me illustrate this. Climate crisis is happening because of three main causes. Deforestation, pollution, and global warming. Now today, I'm here to talk about an issue that's related to this pollution and fossil fuels. Its name is emission. Now when I heard the word for the first time, I thought, what does it mean? So like any other kid, I googled it and this is what I got. The production and discharge of something, especially gas or radiation. But I still didn't understand it. So I just made a simpler definition. Anything released by anything as a byproduct. So for example, oxygen being released by plants as a byproduct of photosynthesis. Now, yeah, so I'm not saying that all of them are bad, but I'm talking about the bad guys. All those complicated compounds like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, that are emission, that are emission products released by cars and other fossil fuels. Now these gases are no joke. If you're put in exposure of carbon monoxide for a long time, it may cause heart and brain failures. Now that's the effect on us. What about the effect on the climate? Now Earth's climate started cooling down about 15 million years ago. Let's fast forward to the 1760s. First industries, first steam engine, pollution is starting to take its steps. Fast forward another years, 100 years, 1830s. Pollution starts its first toll. And in the last 100 years, the Earth's climate has risen more than in Earth's entire history. Now, I recently heard that the ozone layer over Antarctica was starting to heal. And I thought that was good news, right? But what I found next shocked me. It said, that if we continued on this path that we're going on right now, the planet would be ravaged even before the sun goes out. And the sun goes out in about 40 billion years. That is bad. 
Now I'm going to stop with this and talk about the good stuff that we can do to stop this. Now, these, I'm not talking anything new, afforestation, reduction of carbon footprint, but these three things make up my three-phase plan, Plan Gaia. Now, phase one, I'm going to introduce two new people in this story, Leith, the Greek word for forgetfulness. Mr. R.D.M. It literally means the rational decision maker. Now, Mr. R.D.M. is the person who makes all those important decisions in your brain. Let's take an example. You just saw trees are dying. And you thought, oh, that's sad. I should plant more trees. Suddenly, Leith comes in and is like, yeah, that's sad. But you know what? Let's play some games, look at the fridge, call a few friends, and then we'll start planting trees. Mr. RDM is like, no. But Leith doesn't listen and starts his list. And by the end of it, your mom says, go to bed. Now, that's the problem. Leith can be controlled, but not without your own will. So a countermeasure I can give in this phase is to plant more trees. Like you have your birthday every year, why not plant one tree on every birthday? But just don't let Leith know about it. Phase two. I've heard people my entire life saying, we shall stop using fossil fuels. And the very next day, they use a diesel car. That is one of the moments where I feel just like cringing. Now, let me crunch some numbers. There, a, a typical passenger car creates about 4.6 metric tons of CO2 per year. Now, there are about a billion cars. There are about a billion cars in today's world. And if you do the math, that's about 4.6 trillion kilograms of CO2, which is 4.6 billion metric tons. When the numbers start crunching up, people go, okay, Something is definitely going wrong. I say, and quote, rich countries need to reduce their carbon emissions by at least 15% every year to keep the climate temperature at less than 2% area. And we need all the help we can get. Otherwise, we are living on borrowed time, which is sad. Phase three. Make other people understand that these emissions are making things worse. I've seen my entire life that people like to flex and brag about their cars. These usually contain Lamborghinis and Ferraris that spew so much diesel and CO2 that just for 10 minutes of flexing and bragging. Guys, we need to stop this. Why not brag about other things like I graduated Harvard when I was 12 years old. <laughs> or, I created a new bubble gum that has the taste of a hamburger. Yeah, so that's the thing. Let's take present events into account. Events like the G20 summit and the TEDx countdown event are events that will help people understand and spread awareness. Even these events are like a small fraction to the big social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Use these to create awareness about these problems. So to sum it all, yeah, to sum it all up, you can do either one of these three things. Fourth one is optional. Plant at least one tree on your birthday. Reduce your carbon footprint by at least 0.1%. Reduce all fossil fuel items. Spread awareness through platforms like TED. Another idea I'd like to implement in schools is the idea of plants. We hear we should increase the botany and help the school, right? So why not start with your own classroom and school? Keep one plant in every classroom, talk about it, water it, spread awareness about it. That way, the plant helps you, you help the plant. So that way, we need to spread awareness everywhere. Lastly, before ending my talk, 
I'd like to share a song with all of you, a song by the one and only Michael Jackson called The Earth Song. I request all of you to watch it just once and see what will happen if we don't stop. Thank you, that's all for me.